my house, the B&B. There's just people in your yeah. house? My cousin, she was going to sleep over in the house. And then this one night, we got into bed. Next thing, there was a knock on the door. And if there was anything that late, I would never actually open the door. He'd just like go out to the front window and be like, are you all right? The guy was like, can I have a room? And dad was like, sorry, we're fully booked. Woke up the next morning and there was blood on the carpet um, into the room next to mine. My dad just opened the door and a man just came flying out, covered in blood and just ran out the front door. So Deidre, we were obviously traumatised for Deidre. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I feel so bad for Deidre. You're like, it'll be fine, it's just a sleepover, stop being weird. <laughs> <laughs> a couple hours later, the guards called to the house. There was a fella in the back seat and the guard was like, can you identify him? And dad's yeah, like, yeah. The, the red guy. Yeah. So this is two different guy so the guy in the back seat had been the man who called the house for the room and he had stabbed the other fella and the other fella came to the house to hide so the first fella came because he was on the run from stabbing your man then the second man didn't even knock around and just came straight through the door because we, because we had a and b the door would be open but lock it yeah but then i suppose they had keys so can open. i say your dad kind of invited this to happen <laughs> i don't know how he got in but he got Probably in. Probably the open front door. <laughs> <laughs> that might have something It's a literal <laughs> open door policy at your B&B. Morning, nothing happens in morning, Shane.